Hello and welcome to Crochet Moments. I'm Helen and this is Catherine and this is Emily. This is episode 20 and um, before I get into all the nitty gritty of everything, <laughs> there's a pun mm. there, um, these mm. two have got something very special to say to one of my subscribers. Thank you Softy for our toys they sent from Australia. They are really cute. Yes, uh, Twinkle is somewhere, but um, Emily's hidden her. Um, so we have looked, <laughs> she's around somewhere, probably in the big untidy mess that is your bedroom. And this is <laughs> Tabmo, which yes. is one back backwards. Yes, so um, Catherine will introduce you properly to Tabmo shortly. Yep. So, Emily, now you've been in the video, are you going to go and wait over there for Daddy? No. no. What, can you just go sit over there quietly for me? Uh-huh. <sighs> so, Daddy will be down shortly yep. with um, to take Emily up for her, her bath. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to start off with what is going to hopefully become a regular yep. part of my programme. But first of all, I will just say um, that we live in Leicester in the UK and um yes I don't know <laughs> so um yes and um this is my place where I like to talk all things knitting crochet and pretty much anything yarn related because I am a yarn addict and I've got a well a, yes she she's going to be a yarn addict soon Anyway, without further ado, we're going to move into Catherine's Knitty Moments. Uh -huh. Okay, first up, I have, I am making a beanie hat. I don't know the pattern, but if I can get my circular needles out, it looks really nice. That's the wrong way. Oh, sorry. That was the wrong way. <laughs> just Is it nice? There we go. Yeah. I went a bit wonky on the rib, but other than that, it looks beautiful. Especially the yarn I'm using. And this is the yarn. Oh! Where's your yarn band, sweetheart? It's in the bag. Oh. Here's the project bag. It is James E. Bergra on DK, and the color is. Oh, it doesn't have a color. Oh, We've just got a color code, which is G10. Apologies if you can hear Emily complaining yeah, about is, going upstairs. She is always moaning. Okay, so you've also got some incoming, yep, haven't you? So are you going to just explain top Tabmo first? Oh yeah. He's an incoming, isn't he? Uh-huh. Tabmo is from Australia. And thank you, Softy. And Tabmo is a girl, I oh, think. Oh, is Tabmo a girl? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes at night I give her her very own little bed with a blanket my mum made. You might not see her, but she is in the room. And a pillow, just a random pillow in my room. Don't explain how I got that, I have no idea. <laughs> okay, so mummy bought you something this week, didn't she? What did she buy? Well, she bought me some circular needles, but she also bought me some teddy bear patterns. And she's got some more to go with it. So just show, first of all, show one of your circulars so that people know what okay. you've got. So this is one set of my circular needles. It is 80 centimetre. 
which is and also a 3.5 millimeter 3.25 3.25 millimeter yes. hook and can you remember why mummy got you those because it's harder to knit with straight needles but it's easier with circular needles that's right you were struggling with the long straight mm, ones weren't yeah. you Okay, so what patterns did we choose? Did Mummy choose for you? Well, I've got some uh, cute teddy bear patterns for some teddies. They're, they're very cute, and I'm probably going to do the girl. Well, that's the colour yarn that Mummy got for yeah. you. Yeah. And there's also a unicorn. Which again looks really cute, but also looks a bit difficult. Maybe take it one stitch at a time and mummy will help. Uh huh. I'll get those back in. That's that, just leave them to one side okay. and put them in in a bit. And this is the grey wool which I'll be doing for the bear's fur. It's a yeah. <laughs> it's focus <focused>, now. <laughs> it's a King Colt Big Value Baby DK. It's fifty grams, but I've got two balls. And look how it is. I think this one's just a letter as well. Oh no! Oh, it's two. silver. It's called silver. Uh, I think I know why, because it is almost like silver, though it doesn't shine. Damn it, doesn't. And now. Here's some noof and some double knitting right well. Yeah, that's right. It's there you go, it's focused on the wall now. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hate when you cover my face. <laughs> okay this is cut is just colour code seven F seven six. But it's white. Yeah, white. And I, I know Mummy has got lots of white, but I thought you could have some of your own. Yeah. Got to build your stash, haven't uh, we? And I've got some light pink, which, which will be for the top. Okay, and... Oh, it's upside down. It's upside down. <laughs> and what's the oh, name no. of the colour okay. on that? The name of the colour is... Fuchsia. Fuchsia. Oh, fuchsia. <laughs> it's a very nice fuchsia pink. And for the skirt, I've got this rather dark pink, which almost looks like red. My mum probably got this because she couldn't find the right colours. But That's these right. are still lovely colours. Now this is Basic Soft Acrylic DK. That's it. <laughs> does this one have a colour name? I don't think it does. Um, no, so it's just zero one two. Yeah, zero one two. Okay, so that's your incoming. Yeah, that's my incoming. So, okay, so that was Catherine's nitty moment, and yep. um, we're hoping to make that a regular feature. Yeah, fingers you... crossed. Hopefully, by the next one in two weeks, you'll have a finished beanie to show off. Yeah. So, there we go. I might even let her loose with one of my pom-pom makers. And you have Ooh. a go at making a pom-pom. Yes. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go off and play your computer yep. game. Bye. I'll be just over there. Yes. And I'll take over. <laughs> So yes, um, I'm really, really proud. I, and I, I just want to just point out how neat that stocking stitch is. That is such, and it's a really good tension and she hasn't dropped a single stitch. So I'm very, very proud mummy. Let's just pop those out of the way now because mum's got a little bit to show. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so a little bit of a life update to start with. Um, Simon and I are fully vaccinated now for COVID, against COVID. We both had our second vaccinations this week, which we are very pleased about. Although Simon's had a few after effects today, so he's probably a little less pleased uh, today, but he will be when they've passed tomorrow. 
and um, I've had this week off for annual leave and much of that time has been preparing for Emily's birthday. She turned five on Thursday the 13th. Which was yesterday. Which was yesterday, yes, because I film on a Friday evening. And um, I will try and insert a picture somewhere uh, around my shoulders of her birthday cake that I made as well. She liked it. It's not perfect, but she loved it. <laughs> so, um, yes, now on to my yarny things. Um, finished objects. What do you think? This is my owl post. I don't know if you'll be able to... Not really. Let me first squat down a little bit. So here it is. My outpost is finished and so, so lovely. I haven't had a chance to wear it out properly yet. We were going to go out. Um, when did we go? Bank Holiday Monday, which was the Monday after I last filmed because I finished this on the Sunday. I think it was the Sunday that I finished it. But the weather was awful. <laughs> Typical UK weather. <laughs> I think back to May last year and it was glorious. Absolutely glorious weather. Unfortunately, the weather gods are not being our friends at the moment. And they um, decided to open the heavens, throw a load of rain our way. And so we had a day at home doing a little bit of housework instead. <laughs> um, so yes, this is the first time I've had a chance to wear it properly for any length of time and I'm, I still love it. It's so comfortable. I've got the sleeves at just the right length for me and I just, I just think it fits amazing. I've just got it spot on with size. Unfortunately, you can guarantee if I, if Simon, when Simon's washed it, it won't be as perfect, but um, I can, at least I've got to wear it once. <laughs> if it does get shrunk a little bit, then Catherine can always wear it. I know this is one of the designs from the book that she likes. Whether or not I'll make another one, I'm not sure. Um, I want to have a go at making some of the other things first, um, but it's definitely one that I enjoyed making and would definitely consider making again. So, um, a finished object, another one. I haven't blocked this yet, so it's not fully finished. And I haven't sewn in my ends. But here is my changing staircases shawl. It's more scarf than shawl, I think. But I know the purple won't go with the green. But it's so lovely. So this is a pattern by Tristan Molina. It was a, it's a free pattern available on the Dragon Horde Yarns Ravelry page. And I just, I just love it. And once it's um, blocked, these points will be a little bit more obvious. This is made with the Blueberry Jam yarn sock yarn by uh, woolly mama yarns which was a christmas present from the girls for me and it's just absolutely beautiful absolutely i love it so much and it will definitely get a lot of use once it's blocked which is something i did plan on doing this week while well, i've been off since it's been finished but i I've had so many other jobs to do, I just never got around to doing it. Um, so yes, oh, I love it. So it's really, really soft and squishy. Ooh. So those are my finished objects. Just, I say just two, it's not often I have two finished objects in one go. So let's go straight onto my whips then. So let's start with my sock whips first. This is probably the whip I've had the least progress on. And it's in, it's still in a Christmas bag. I still have my socks in a Christmas project bag, but it's so, so pretty. And I haven't got around to making any more, any Chris, um, 
sock bags. I found lots of fabric when I was having a sort out over this week. So I will definitely be getting around to doing that. I just need to get some drawstring cord. So my socks, well, these aren't my socks. These are Simon's socks. And this is a pattern from the Collection One West Yorkshire Spinners Christmas Socks. And um, I have actually bought one of the limited edition Christmas yarns. It's in my stash of sock yarn, um, but my commercial sock yarn, my hand dyed stuff is upstairs in a box. I'm doing the first pattern in here, which is the Dasher pair, and you can't quite make out the pattern in there. It's, it's sort of a rib and textured, and the texture is almost like a moss stitch texture. And, um, I'm doing it for Simon. So I cast on 64 stitches for Simon socks. I'm not quite sure whether or not that will continue to be the cast on that I do for Simon. But once I've finished this pair and he's tried them on, we'll find out. Now I did go a little bit wrong on the pattern somewhere on here. Um, so it's not perfect, these ones. It's a really tricky one pattern to follow. Unroll the yarn. My yarn's not behaving. So here it is. So as you can see, so we've got slightly wider ribs, a narrow rib, rib, and then a section of moss stitch. And it's repeated on the other side. It's a 32 stitch repeat. Each size has got its own line of pattern, which is where I made the mistake. I didn't notice that one of the rows I was following, I can't remember if it was the row above or the row below for the different cast on. But this is the yarn. It's the zigzag, King Cole zigzag in the colorway Humbug. And it's a really good budget sock yarn. You can get it for um, you can get it for as little as three pound in some places. It's not wanting to focus. There. So yes, it's um, these socks are going to take a little longer. I think they're they're not because it's a thirty-two stitch repeat. Um, it's not as easy to memorize so i shall we shall see we shall see how long it takes me to get those done <laughs> especially since um the plan is to work through all of my sock patterns each sock pattern will have a different technique for me to learn so that's what i want to do i just want to make all the socks but i don't want to be making lots of pairs of socks in one go so always have just the one pair on the go so the, my way of um getting around doing the wrong pattern row is i've done that <laughs> just use most it's to cover up the rows that i don't need and since i've done that i haven't gone wrong so <laughs> we shall see how that goes so my next whip brings me on to my make along how many of you are taking part in my blanket along at the moment, we've just got three blankets being shared in the hashtag, which I will pop along here. It is Crochet Moments Bal. That's Crochet Moments B A L for blanket along. If you know you needed that explaining. So I have been working on this for the last two weeks every other day, and going forward, it's on my whip wheel. So going forward, this will only appear either if I've just got spare 15 20 minutes to pop a row in or it pops up to do so let's first of all explain my blanket along so from the 1st of may which was two weeks ago to the 31st of august so you've got four months if my math no three months 
May, June, July, August. Four months. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I haven't even had a drink yet. <laughs> Four months to work on a blanket. All you need to do to be in with a chance of winning a prize is to be a subscriber of my channel and share your makes. They don't have to be finished objects. I um, would love to see your works in progress. So at the moment, um, we've got the boho blanket, which is the one I'm working on being shared. And, oh, I can't remember. What blanket are you doing, Sofferty? I can't remember. Uh, let's bring my, my Instagram up and have a quick gander at the blanket along hashtag. So I think I've only got about four or five posts on there at the moment. <clears throat> okay, so I've got past all the technical glitches that my phone was throwing at me. And um, Sofferty is doing the Spring Fling Garden Blanket designed by Debbie Dearest. And I really urge you to go head over to the hashtag, follow the hashtag, because that is going to be a blanket to watch for definite. It's looking absolutely stunning. And I can't wait to see how it goes. I'm just, wow. It's all I can say, Sofferty, wow. <laughs> but, um, I will show you the prizes. Um, I will be making a project, two project bags, and inside those project bags, there will be a cake of yarn. So I have been eyeing these up in the window of my local yarn shop for oh, a couple of months now, if I'm honest. And I've bought these as prizes and I can't stop stroking them. So I know that as soon as I find a pattern that I can use a couple, one or two of these for, I will be getting them myself. So this is the King Cole Carousel, Carousel Chunky. And I've got two colors, so they don't, oh, this one is Speedway. And this one is Helter Skelter. Mm -hmm. So there will be a project bag, a cake of yarn, and I showed these in my last episode. There will also be a crochet um, pattern book. If knitting is more your thing, do let me know because um, I can pick up a knitted blanket pattern book instead and keep one of these for myself. So I don't mind if you, <laughs> it doesn't have to be crochet blanket. If knitting is your thing, submit a knitted blanket. That's fine. Absolutely 100% fine because it's a make along and I knit as well as crochet. So, so onto my blanket now, my whip. I've witted on about that now for quite a while. So, I am doing the boho blanket designed by Lucia Dunn for, and she is a Starcraft blog star. I am not using Starcraft yarn. I shopped my stash and I was lucky enough to pretty much closely match these colours. They're not a perfect match, but I think they work really well together. And I'm nearly halfway done already. I haven't been sewing my ends in as I go. <laughs> I think I need to have an end sewing session <laughs> before it gets too big. But here it is. And it's been an absolute pleasure to work on. These stripes were great for just TV watching because I didn't need to think about what I was doing and I learned a new technique. I learned joining in the round. So all of these little squares were crocheted to the green round. So I think it was three rounds and then the turquoise aqua color was um, the color for joining in the round. Uh, not joining in the round. Join as you go. Oh dear. I don't know if I should have a drink tonight. 
<laughs> so, um, but yes, it's this is mostly um, Aldi yarn. There is a bit of colour crafter in here, so this one's colour crafter, the mustardy colour. I'm not quite sure what brand the pink is. It is a really old ball that I had in my stash. And um, here is the back. So I did struggle with carrying the yarn a little bit. I didn't want to have things too tight, so but I think I might have left my floats a little bit too loose in places. So there's the back. I've got all those to sew in. I do have a method for crocheting in um, the ends as I go, not just crocheting over them, but crocheting them in. But it's been really tricky with the colour changes and things to do that easily. So <laughs> I've just left it and I will deal with it at the end. So, um, so yes, I'm nearly halfway. I've got a panel of this to do and then it's basically repeating it all back so it mirrors it itself so it but that is my boho blanket which is so much fun and it's been great to um, work on it alongside um, another maker who is also a subscriber of this channel and it's been great just we've been bouncing messages between each other I've been helping her where she's needed it and um, I think she's probably given me a bit of encouragement just to keep going really. So my next whip that I have to show today is my Starbright sweater. So this is designed by Fran Morgan and it is in issue 103 of Simply Crochet magazine. Again, Aldi Yarn. I swear I should be sponsored by Aldi Yarn. I use so much of it. Um, but it is lovely stuff. If you've used the Colour Crafter yarn, um, it's very, very similar to the Colour Crafter yarn. That, um, you can get from Shapies. So this is, how far I've got, oh crikey, let's tuck all those ends in. I am terrible with my ends, I really am. I really, really need to work on getting my ends sorted and just do them as I go because I hate doing ends. <laughs> Here we go, Here it is. So I am, I would say I'm about five or six rows from the bottom before I start the bottom rib, which is done in alternate colours. So here it is. So, um, yes, yeah, so I've just got this rib to do, and then um, it will be the yoke, top yoke, the neckline rib, and then the sleeves. So this is... It started off a good, interesting make, and then I got to rows and rows and rows, and oh, it's it's been a little bit tedious. And you might notice from the change in the pattern that I changed it a little bit. So um, this section here is all done one row double crochet, single crochet US, and one row half treble, which is half double US. And I changed it to just half trebles because it's a, tall, it's a taller stitch than the double crochet and I just, I needed it to grow a bit faster. So <laughs> that's my guilty secret, not so secret now, I've told everybody. But um, yes, it's been, it's been an experience that I won't repeat, unfortunately. Uh, but I have such a huge list of projects that things that I want to make, that it really won't matter if there's one less one less thing to worry about getting stashed up for. And my next whip 
is my dragonfly cushion. So this is designed by Catherine Venner. Here it is. And it is in issue 40 of Crochet Now. And I really am enjoying this so much. I quite enjoy tapestry crochet because I like I like the effect that it has. Oh, I've got so many ends. The one thing is I'm having is my yarns get a little bit mixed up sometimes. So every other row I'm having to untangle. So <laughs> this is how the dragonfly is looking. Looks very good. It does. I'm really I'm really pleased with how it's looking, and I can't wait to see it done because it's just lovely. <laughs> um, it's it's one of those projects I won't enjoy the back the back is just essentially um, I think it's double crochets or is it half double crochets so um, yes and because it is a certain amount of rows that need to be done I'm going to have to stick them as double crochets <laughs> And it's just in one colour. So that one won't be as enjoyable doing the back, but we shall see. I have just one more whip left that I've worked on over the last two weeks, and then we'll be into incoming. But this whip is a little bit of incoming too, because it's in a new project pack. Now, Sofrity was very kind to send the girls um, a cuddly toy all the way from Australia and um, she sent me something too and it's really really nice it's adorable she made me a project bag she hand made me a project bag and look it's so beautiful we've got an echidna on one side and a duckbill platypus on the other and a platypus on the other and look at the Look what she's put on the zip. <laughs> I'm being so silly, but look. Let me just um it's a kangaroo key ring. Oh I love this so much. And um it's just I know I've already said thank you, Sofity, but thank you. <laughs> it's it the, the minute I opened the package I was in love. Um, she gave me a lovely letter that explained um, how she'd made it and she's been she so she's given me a little zipper pocket there this lovely spotty lining on one side this really nice red on the other and it's just oh, thank you <laughs> I love it so much and this project has a project in it that I love so much because the yarn is lovely. <laughs> and this is also yarn that was bought as a gift from the girls. This was a... Oh, I made a mistake. My chain... This was birthday yarn. This is Christmas yarn. I think I've said Christmas yarn when I said about this one. This is in my newest issue of Knit Now magazine. And um, I'll tell you what issue number it is. 128. So I'm making this. So pretty. It's lovely. <laughs> and I can't wait to get to the shells because I've never done um, stitches like this before. I'm not quite sure if you can see, but these longer stitches here. me oh apologies about that um emily's going through a stage of pretending she has a headache as a way of trying to get to stay up and it doesn't work <laughs> anyway <laughs> before we were rudely interrupted i was just saying how i haven't done um this sort of stitch before it's like a fan of um yarn overs long yarn overs and then you 
knit them all together or purl them all together I'm not quite sure I haven't got that far in the pattern um, but you purl them together <laughs> so I've I'm really looking forward to getting to that bit and I'm very close to that bit I've got about 15 15 rows until I get to the lace and um, it's not much to look at right now because it's mostly just stocking stitch and I need to change the cable on my needles to my longer cable because it's getting a little bit long for this cable so here it is at the moment so it's just got the eyelets In the sections and I've just done the last set of eyelets and it's um, stocking stitch until the lace and then it will be done so the yarn the yarn here it is here it is just oh it's so beautiful and this is really fancy yarn as well because it's got silk and cashmere in it so this is from Orchidine Yarns and um, her website is Luxury Yarns. I will link her below. I I love her yarn. It's so beautiful. And she also does um, really pretty stitch markers. Which... Oh, yes, now I know where they are. <laughs> I don't think I put them back in there, did I? No. Okay. <laughs> so this is on her Angelo 4-ply base. Come on, focus. Oh, I'm getting really, really bad at showing this. There you go. <laughs> and it is never going back again. It is 70% baby alpaca, 20% silk, and 10% cashmere. And this is quite possibly one of the softest yarns I've ever, I've ever stroked. Um, if this was one that, um, I when I put it away after I put all my Christmas presents away I would and still do with all of my hand dyed yarns actually I just take them out and give them a stroke and it's very tactile it's very soft which is why it had to become a scarf or a shawl or a cowl because it's it's got to be against skin it's such a nice nice yarn it's it's beautiful yarn and knitted up this is knitted on a four millimeter i'm using my four millimeter zings and um so it's it's even lighter an area than i think it could possibly have been so yes definitely oh, so in love with that yarn and i am so in love with the pattern so that is all of my whips. Ooh. Here we go. Not put it in straight. <laughs> okay, so now on to my incoming. Now I don't have a lot of incoming to show you because I have obviously most of it was just prize stuff. So let's start with patterns. Finally got to John Lewis, where I spent my birthday voucher that my mum-in-law gave me, and I wanted to avoid getting yarn because, let's face it, I have a lot of yarn, and I do need to use it a bit more before I can justify buying more. Says she. <laughs> we all know that's a big fat lie, and I will keep buying more yarn. But um, I decided to have a look at what patterns they had available. And I'm always on the lookout for sock pattern books. And Winwick Mum, I am, I have joined her group on Facebook. There's lots of other sock knitters, well, well just knitters in general, yarn lovers. And um, so they often share pat um, the free patterns when they tell you, oh, there's a free pattern here or... Anyway, I love the Winwick Mum socks. 
they're really lovely and this book has got one two three four five six patterns and they're it's all based on West Yorkshire spinners um, yarn which is really nice the signature four ply I have um, got it in my stash I haven't used it yet but it does feel really nice to use and I'm looking forward to that so we've got basically just there's um, these really nice hidden gem I love that pattern going down the side and these again it's all part of learning new techniques I haven't um, made a vast array of socks there's a slightly better picture of that pair oh it's gone really dark why has it gone really dark My lights are still on, aren't they? <laughs> but there are, there's um, charts as well as written patterns. These are really pretty wildflowers, the little lace section. Ooh. And um, a little cable. And then mix and match. So um, they basically have a few different heels to try, which could be interesting to try. So I've got that one. And I always struggle to find patterns. Um, I do I have to confess, so I do prefer patterns that I can buy hard copies to. 